Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you in part by our wonderful friends at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey, figure skating, and referee gear. You can also get your skates sharpened, you can get hockey jerseys, you can get goalie pads, a hockey net, you can drop your skates off at any hour in their little drop-off window. They have a little drop-off box, kind of like the old uh, uh, Blockbuster, where you can drop the movies in the box and then you were done. Um, you can also visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com Or call them at 414-800-7585 Or you can visit them at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin Anytime between, I believe, 10 o'clock and 5 p.m. They're located right across the street from Wilson Park Ice Center Correct mm -hmm. Alright, so Oh, uh, that's Daniel Goodmount I'm Christopher Draves and this is Matt Weiss Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You see, I like how he just rotated the routine. Why yeah, not? Yeah. Mix it up a bit. Have a little fun, Dan. We're trying All to have right. fun, right? So, looking at this, uh, okay. Now I know why they lost. <laughs> <laughs> right, basically, my only issue with this game was the Predators gave up three unanswered goals, two of them to Leon Dreiser. Uh Ooh. Yeah, that basically sunk us right there. Yeah, Predators lost 3-2 uh, in regulation to the Oilers. Um, now they don't need to watch the rest of our video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. They, we, need to, we need to at least talk about who made the goals, who didn't. Yeah. All right. So scoring in the first period was Craig Smith. He scored his 12th with an assist from Robin Yossi, his 40th. Ooh. And Ryan Johansson, his 20th. Then we have Nick Bonino, his scoring in the second, his 17th with an assist from Dan Hamhuis, his 7th. Go away. Oh. Ham Hughes. Uh, hey. All right, then we have Alex Chason with his eighth with an assist from McDavid. Don't know how many because, you know, laptop's deciding that it wants to move and I don't <laughs> want it to. Good boy. Uh, McDavid's 51st and Clef Bomb is 26th. I saw the issue you were having with your computer, so I figured it's still. All right, so then we have uh, Leon Dreisaitl scoring his 30th with an assist from... Ryan Nugent Hopkins, his 24th, and Kylo Yamamoto, uh, his 7th. 25th. 24th. 25th for uh, Nugent Hopkins. Uh, yeah. That would be the third goal scored on the power play, his Leon Dreisaitl's 31st, mm -hmm. and Nugent Hopkins, 25th, and, and Clef Bob's 27th on the power play. And this was like a minute left. Yeah. So... Um, Sorrow started in his third straight game, so kind of, it could be just, he was yes. gassed. Yeah, he was just when gassed. When was the last time he did that? Here. Yeah. <laughs> During the Dean Evanson era where goalies never got a night off. Well, yeah. if they weren't getting a night off, they were just going through that, that horrible, horrible Southwest run at Mitchell Airport, where they're just like, okay, you're going down, they're coming up. They're coming up, and they're coming down. I'm just like... That you whole, go here and you go there and that you was go. was just a horrible rig rigmarole between like because, I, yeah, that's a whole admiral sprint that it could go on for eight. But anyway, that's the past. We'll leave it there. Let's yeah, leave it um, gum chewing past. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have UC Saros and Net stopping thirty three of thirty six with a point nine one seven. That's still not that bad. No, yeah. it's not that bad no. of a night. Um, and then we have Mike Smith in net for them. Uh, he stopped 27 and 29 with a three, uh, nine point, uh, point 0.931 save percentage. Your referees were Justin St. Pierre and Jake Brink. Uh, linesmen were Darren Gibbs and Devin Berg. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Edmonton is Dave Tippett. Uh, scratches were uh, Cal Yarncroft, Austin Watson, and Matt Irwin. Uh, scratches for Edmonton were James Neal, Patrick Russell, and William Legenson. Legenson. But uh, it, our, for the, as far as the scratches go, are we're getting Matt Irwin sent back down? Is that what it feels like? When whenever Alice comes back, because he can't be that far off. No. Oh, I also want to throw this stat out there. Over the last five years, Leon Dreisaitl has scored more goals against the Predators than any other player. After tonight, he scored eight goals against the Predators. Over the Do you know who scored years. the fewest? No. Alexander Ovechkin. Wow. Mm. Well, yeah, because for whatever reason, the Predators play good against the Capitals. But I know why. The Capitals suck as a team. They only have, like, three good players. 
All right, so three stars of the game were Connor McDavid, Leah, uh, Mike Smith, and uh, Leon Dreisaitl was the first star. Yeah. So coming up next for Nashville is... The Van- Vancouver Canucks on Monday night. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, the last meeting between uh, the Canucks and the Preds were on November 21st. Vancouver won 6-3 in a regulation. Ouch. Yeah. Um, and this year, uh, their first line for the Canucks, we got... Uh, we got uh, their center, Bo Horvat, 17 goals, 27 assists. Uh, Tanner Pearson, 15 goals, 24 assists. That's their left winger. Uh, their right winger is Brandon Suter, 6 goals, 5 assists. Uh, their second line of forwards, I uh, got JT Miller, their left wing, 21 goals, 33 assists. Uh, Elias Patterson. Uh, their center, 23 goals, 32 assists, and then Brock Bozer, or Brock Besser, I should say, uh, 16 goals, 29 assists, that's their right winger. Uh, their third line, there's really nobody noteworthy besides, uh, what is that, Jake, uh, Vartanen? Vartanen. Vartanen, uh, 15 goals, 16 assists. Uh, defensively... Yeah, you got Quinn Hughes. He has uh, eight goals, 32 assists. And I guess to a lesser extent, uh, Tyler Myers. He's there in the uh, third line with Jordy Ben. Uh, Myers has six goals, 12 assists. I mean, I, I don't want to say it because it seems like I keep cursing this team, but you already know what I'm thinking. Uh, in their last five games, uh, there's probably not anybody really red hot with them. All right, their uh, last five games, we have uh, JT Miller with two goals, four assists. Uh, Elias Peterson with two goals and an assist. Uh, then, yeah, that's about it as far as people being hot. Oh, Tyler Myers had two goals and an assist. All right, go. Um, I do, I am pulling up currently the... Uh... Okay, I'll go with that till that loads. All right, so uh, their starting goaltender is Jacob Markstrom. Uh, he has 38 games played, 38 games started, uh, 20 wins, 15 losses, three overtime losses, with a .916 save percentage and a 2.2 2.77 goals against average, with a one shutout and an assist. Then our backup goaltender is Thatcher Demko. He has 18 games played, 17 games started. He has 10 wins, 5 losses, 2 overtime losses with a .909 save percentage and a 2.92 goals against average. No shutout, no assists, no goals. Mm. And then their third goalie, I believe he's with Utica right now, uh, would be Michael DiPietro. Uh, He has one game played. He has no starts. He came in as relief. He has 7 saves on 6 shots with a .8. Five, seven, it don't matter. They're same percentage. Yeah. And the goals against average for this guy doesn't matter because one goal against in seven shots is going to make you look really bad. Yeah. So it, that's not fair to him. Yeah. All right, so let's look how Vancouver did tonight. Oofka. They won. Uh, they, or, lost. they lost. Or, six, or? six to one. Six to two. Woo! Ouch. They lost 6-2. to two. Um, What's the record in the last five, or did you already cover it? I'm covering that as soon as I'm done with this. Right. Uh, Tanner Pearson had a goal. He has at 16 now. And Adam Gaudet scored his ninth. He's at nine now. So if that's not up there, um, it, you, you've been updated. There you go. <laughs> um, starting in goal was Jacob Markstrom. He stopped 26 of 31 with a save percentage of .839. Of Jeez. Yeah. Pardon the pun, but the flames are hot. Except for yesterday. Yeah. 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 They kind of burned out. Oh. Uh, what a cheap pun. Yeah. Yeah. At least they're not the Abbotsford Heat, but that's another story. <laughs> Look at you going for more cheap puns. Oh, the, uh, the, the, what was that? The Quad City Flames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's going right, along with it. currently uh, first place in the Pacific Division. Nashville has fallen to fourth. Yeah. And Winnipeg is now in first. Again, just for Nashville, just focus on the W. Winnipeg and Arizona, you're 
two current wild card spots in the West. Let's see. We have how many games behind? I'm, I'm, one behind Calgary, two behind Arizona, and one behind Winnipeg. Okay. Just focus on the one. Uh, yeah, but what's Vancouver's record in the last five? In the last ten, they are six. Wait, Vancouver. Okay, sorry. They're six, three, and one. I was reading Edmonton, but it's the same, so I'm okay. okay. But they're on a two game losing streak. Yep. Oh. So, Vegas is kind of climbing up now. Yeah, as far as standings go. Well, we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit more later. But yeah. uh, that's all I got, or that's all we got for this. Uh, Vegas is currently game. sitting at overtime. Ooh, uh, with uh, Carolina. Carolina, yeah. All right, well, we could probably wrap up yeah. this particular video. We'll wrap up the uh, NHL aspect. Yep, uh, stay tuned. We have a Florida Everblades uh, video recap. coming up. Recap and preview. Yeah, coming up. Stay All right. tuned. See you guys later. Go to Hockey Lockers. Alrighty. Don't forget to go over to YouTube, click uh, subscribe, click that bell, and comment as much as you want.